Chrissy G here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful and blessed week thus far. I'm not going to keep you long at all, ladies and gentlemen. I just wanted to send a message of encouragement and love. This year has been downright difficult for some people. And I know you're trying to have faith. I know you're trying to pursue your dreams. And I know you're trying to live life fearlessly. But man, life is knocking you down. And you're like, why me, Lord? Why is this happening to me? When is it my turn? I thought this was my year to prosper. I thought this was my year to accomplish great things. Why am I stuck in this pit? Why am I stuck in this rut? Why am I in this dark place with no light in sight? Where are you, God? I know we have a lot of questions, and sometimes it seems difficult to endure hardships in life, especially when it seems like God is silent. But I want to encourage you today to keep pressing forward. Don't give up. Please don't give up. Too many people have given up already on themselves and on God this year and on their dreams. Don't let your dreams die. Don't let yourself die. This too shall pass. This struggle, this season of turmoil is building in you a great character. It's building you a strength that you probably never knew you had. You are still here. So because you're still here, then you have enough fight in you. Even if you're scratching and crawling and trying to get out of that pit, you are trying. Give yourself credit for that. Learn to celebrate the little triumphs in life. Yes, the big things that you've been hoping for have not happened yet, or maybe they fell by the wayside. But there have been little triumphs in your life. And if you take the time to evaluate and think about the things that have happened, you'll find that there is light there that there is joy there, that there is peace there. So while we're managing our expectations and while we're trying to live fearlessly and walk in faith, don't forget your light. Don't forget the hope that is in you. Don't forget that fire that was ignited in you towards your passion, towards your purpose, towards your career goals, towards your greatness. God has not forsaken you. No, he's not forsaken you. He's been with you all along and that is the reason why you haven't given up yet. That is the reason why you have this unexplainable strength. So don't look at yourself as forsaken. Don't look at yourself in pity, but look at your strength and be in awe of the great person that you are. Don't give up. Keep pressing forward. Keep fighting for that dream. Keep fighting for your peace of mind. Keep pursuing love in your life. Keep pursuing light in your life. It is yours for the taking. So don't give up. Don't be discouraged. Don't be dismayed. You are not alone. Lean into your support systems. Lean into me if you need to. If you have a prayer request, if you have something that you have been believing in God for and you think that he has just plain forsaken you, let me know. I will pray for you. I will get down on my knees and pray for you specifically because I don't want anyone to give up on themselves. I don't want anyone to give up on their dreams. I want you to see yourself as God sees you. Strong, confident, courageous, beautifully and wonderfully made. And he is investing his time, his love and his energy in building you up. We will never promise good times all the time, but we through our mindset can learn to see our situation in a different light. We can learn to take the negative things that are happening to us and turn them into something positive and use them to fuel our passion and use them to fuel our perseverance and use those things to stare dead into the face of despair and say, I am more than this and you will not break me. So please don't let go of that light. Don't let yourself dim in this difficult season, but push through press forward and come out on the other side victorious. I know you can do it. And if you need help, I'm right here. I hope this encouraged someone and I hope that you won't give up. Not now, not ever. I love you guys.